Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Soap Queen TV and Brambleberry.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I'll be talking about some of my secrets for packaging melt and pour soap. Melt and pour soap has a high glycerin and water content. Because of this, it's really moisturizing in the shower, but it also can sweat and have glycerin dew form on it after the soap is made, or if the soap isn't wrapped, it can also dry up and become unsightly or look shriveled. So because of this, you always want to wrap melt and pour soap. You can use a shrink wrapping system, or you can do what I do and just go to the grocery store and get an inexpensive clear plastic food wrap. The second tool you need to make sure that your melt and pour soap is wrapped in a professional and attractive manner is a heat gun. You can find this in the hardware store in the paint section, or you can use a rubber stamping embossing gun, but no hair dryers. They don't get warm enough. The first step to making a professional looking wrapped bar of soap is to tear off a piece of the clear plastic wrap. Pull the ends tight over the bar of soap. Cut off any extra you have. This will create an unsightly bulge if you don't. With the heat gun on low, heat the back of your soap. You'll notice the plastic starts shrinking up. Once it's shrunk up, turn the soap over. Now heat the sides of the soap. The order of this is important. Then. Gently hit the top of the soap with a little bit of heat. You can apply a label to the back of it to finish the entire thing off. This method also works for round, ovals, or even slightly strange bars of soap. The first step, pull a piece of your clear plastic wrap off. Pull the sides of the plastic wrap up and over the soap. Hit the back of the soap with heat. Once it's fully heated, turn the soap over, do the sides, and do the top. Put a finishing label on this. Say you have something adorable like this very cute Brambleberry.com exclusive hedgehog. Notice the nose. It really sticks out. It's very cute, but how are you going to wrap it? The same way as we've done everything else. Pull a piece of your clear plastic wrap off. Pull it gently over the entire bar of soap. Cut the excess off. Hit the back of the soap with some heat. Hit the sides of the soap with heat. And then do the top very gently. If you don't do the top gently enough, look what happens you can actually melt your bar of soap. The key to using your heat gun is short bursts of heat or else your professionally wrapped bar of soap may turn into a puddle of soap. Now let's talk about other ways to package your soap. You can use soap boxes. Brambleberry.com carries two different kinds of soap boxes. One is this brown soap box and the other is this white soap box. The brown soap box comes unassembled in two pieces, the actual box and then the sleeve that goes over it. In order to make the box first, Fold all the pieces of the pre-scored box. This will make it easier to fold and bend. Take the short sides and flip them up. Then take the long sides and trap the short sides. Finally, using the tabs, push down firmly on the entire thing. Put your bar of soap into the box and the entire thing stays together. Take your sleeve, push it gently over the box, wrap this with a little bit of ribbon, put a label on it, and you're done. The white box also comes flat in shipping. This is a little bit easier to put together. All you need to do is pop it out and pop it up and you're done. Slip your bar of soap in, put a ribbon around it, put a label on it, and voila, professionally packaged bar of soap. Just because your melt and pour soap is in these boxes doesn't mean you still shouldn't do that first step of wrapping them with clear plastic wrap, however. The soap is still in a box, but that doesn't mean that the box is airtight and is going to keep the air away from the soap. So the soap might still sweat or just dry up and become an unsightly mass of soap inside your box. So wrap it to ensure the freshest, most quality bar of soap for the end user. Some other options for wrapping your soap are organza bags. They come in all kinds of shapes, colors, and sizes. Here I've used them to make wedding favor soaps. How adorable do these look? And finally, you can use wrapping paper to really dress your soap up. Make sure you wrap your soap first in the clear plastic wrap and then wrap your soap with wrapping paper and a little bit of ribbon. Put a nice label on this and voila, beautifully wrapped soap.
Thanks for joining me today on Soap Queen TV. Remember, look around your house and see what cool things you have to wrap your soap with. Join me next time as I tell you how to do basic melt and pour layers. Until then, happy soaping. Hi, I'm Anne Marie from Soap Queen TV and Brambleberry.com. Thank you so much for joining me today as I talk to you about my secrets.